Alright, um, I believe you can hear me better now. So, uh, what I'm trying to say is this. Let me zoom this a bit so that you understand what I'm saying. So, what I want to do uh, does not only apply to computation of results. I just mean there is something you want to grade somebody or how you want to grade a particular distance. So, you can use this way. But I'm just going to use results here. Uh, like student result to make those kind of grading so you can apply it to exam and um, you can also apply it to um, different things that you want to grade so what do you need to do so in here uh, you know this is student um, assignment quiz assignment and exam so this is what they scored and you know this plus this normally is supposed to give us 30 so between these two values uh, supposed to give us whatever you wanted to give but the whole thing we're targeting 100 so I have to use like random number here this is quiz uh, let's say this is what it is so if you add all these things whatever values it gives you should be 100 so instead of you doing this uh, you can confidently just say equal to you can do some of this and then drag this up here to here and close it with brackets and then this gives you the total score you can see here sum of D F2 which is here down to F2 gives you this so once you get here um, you don't need to start dragging like this to here that will automatically work if you start dragging from that way to here that will also work but the best thing you could actually do is instead of you dragging let me press go back uh, let me press uh, escape and then press ctrl z it's not working well, let me just clear this let me return back to this again. Um, I'm saying that Rajmi, you don't want to do the same thing for the fact that you have actually write, written this first one and you want it to come down here. Move your cursor close to this place where it have this plus sign, not this plus sign, but this dark plus sign. So click on it and that's going to do the rest of this for you. Now we want to grade it either A, B, C or D. What do you need to do? So you need to say equal to and then we say if this is what one you're going to be using if this is greater than or equal to let's use 70 that's what we use in nigeria then you say comma it should be a look at what i'm doing semicolon double it a and then you close it up and then you say comma now what it means let me close this now so that i will explain to you what i mean is this if this comes this way it means that whatever that is this is equal to a so but you have to continue with your this because you have p then you say if you still open the same thing you click on this is greater than or equal to we have uh after 60 we have 60 after 70 we have 60 so you the next thing is equal to 60 then comma it should be b and then you close it to say comma then you continue if you open under bracket you reference to the same table again if it is greater than or equal to 50 as you can see then it should be c then this you comma then you remember again if it is also greater or equal to uh, no sorry i made a mistake if you open up again you click on this with g2 is equal to uh greater or equal to now we are going to 40. now we will greater or equal to 40 then it should be b you know this is d and uh, let me use d then you say that d have to come this way you have to say comma uh, you put up the D, you close it. Now S, it should be F. So you put up this and say F, which is filled. So with this, you press enter. This will help you put up the rest of the uh, bracket that's supposed to close. Once you click, click yes, and that is done. Then double click here, and that gives you A. Now let me assume that this person get 10, then it will see automatically to B. Let me assume that this person gets 0, 1, it will automatically to A because this plus this still A. Let's say this is 63. Let me make this 5, and then you see automatically this F. So now 
this is what you can do as soon as you, uh, as i'm clicking on it is automatically doing the rest of them and this is what how you can do it what if you want to add colors to it you can also go to formatting here this is format condition by scale you can go in here and you see here uh, let me use one as example or i can use all of them at the same time select it go to formatting down here you can use this and define the type of formatting you want you can see the rules this is red this is scale this is this so the one this is um progress you can see here this is highlights when it is greater than highlight it when it is less so we are going to be treating this one by one because i want to show you how each of them works so what is format condition so but this is exactly how it works so if you go to formatting you go to this and click on it so you can make a formatting on whichever way you want the values to be here so that you have this condition when this condition is let me go here you see 95 if you go this red so but let me use a scale value that comes like this 95 is high this is this this is so you can click on any of them and then you see if you generalize all of them you see the way it gives you red uh, because it is 10 so you can also modify it because it starts with zero red down to 95 green so this is not um, probably what i'm going to like show you right now um i'm going to return back to this let me click this to make it so this is how i'm going to be treating this better so what aspect if it is um the student has or fail you can do that same thing anyway so to do the same thing let's just use this place to do like an illustration i can say equal to if this let's use uh let's use uh, let's use 40 and 50 just to say let's say the student have failed you make a grade fail to be 50 let's use 50 as example so if this thing is greater or equal to 50 you can say right now i want to put it pass so you can put pass then comma if not it should be failed so you can make it like this so you close it so this automatically tell you whether the person pass or the person fails. as you can see here this makes it pass or fail and you can also format this table with conditions like for example you can go to highlight sales or greater than or equal to or color scale you know these are different ways you can do but let's say you say um that is greater than or between or equal to you can just make this kind of this thing that the, the, the test you want to fill so you can feed them with the kind of color that you want to fill and that is going to tell you like put the border if the one that is failed she show you red so but for now like i said i'm going to stop here because i will tell you we're going to go into conditional status uh, conditional formatting but for now this is how you can make this work you can see the code right here let me go to total and click on it this is summation but here you can see this code up here that if these things you can put up your own uh, uh, numbers according to what you want it to be and then that is actually going to get done so this is how you can calculate results so result or grade a particular thing the way you want to put it so this is generally how we are going to get that done so i think i will be stopping here and um, if you have question you ask me if not uh, i will be stopping here so this general how you can complete results you can design it the way you want it and then complete it the way you want it so thank you so much uh, i'll be stopping here i will stop sharing my screen here thank you